Before I begin, I would just like to say I got my new extension lead. So if you watched my last video, uh, you would know that my lawnmower ate um, its extension lead because I was uh, spacing out. And uh, but I got a new one today, and um, yeah, it, it was a little cheaper than I expected. I thought it was gonna be sixty something dollars, um, and it turns out it was forty something dollars. So that's good for me. Um, anyway, the um, <coughs> the topic of this video is um, why do people hide their true selves from the world? Um, now, such topic, it makes you think of um, you know, people living in the closet, you know, that whole notion about, um, you know, like if you're, if you're, um, if you if you've got a secret shame, you could be gay, you could be, you know, an atheist or you know, whatever, you know, um, pick, um, the, um, uh, communal affliction. Uh, but uh, the point is, you're hiding who you truly are. And uh, I wanted to talk about that. Why do people hide who they truly are? I think uh, a lot of it comes down to they, they don't want to be uh, embarrassed on the one hand, uh, but they also don't want to embarrass others. Um, so they don't want to be embarrassed for themselves, but they don't want to embarrass others. And, you know, and that's concerning. You know, you meet somebody and they, they are living a lie. It's, it's, uh, um, it's worrying. It, it can be disheartening, um, but um, on a uh, more global scale, right, the global effect of all these individuals living these local lives, the global effect is that people are... Uh, you know, in you know where it concerns the generality, they are not getting the truth. They're not getting the truth of of their reality. And so, when you're living a lie, when you're wearing a mask all the time, you are you are uh, preventing proper education from. Um, circulating from from um, getting out there and look you know it's it's you know the argument of we all play a part to fix the world is a silly argument because yes although technically accurate it's not true so if we think uh, in terms if we think of truth in terms of um, the collective signal, the collective reception we receive of direction, of our culture, of our um, society, of our reality, uh, if we think of truth like that, and, you know, and, uh, and we think of, you know, uh, somebody uh, saying, uh, making the argument, well, we, we all play a part, um, if we think of that like that's perception, that's that's that ar that sort of argument is gained from perception, but that's not true. Even though it's technically accurate, yes, we all play a part. Yes, the personal revolution begins um, the interpersonal revolution, right? Intrapersonal revolution begins the interpersonal revolution. Yes, that's technically accurate. But it's untrue 
when we take a look at reception of direction that our culture, that our reality is constantly telling us, constantly indicating um, we are headed, right? So if everything of reality is telling you the world is headed one way and this is it, it doesn't really matter what's technically accurate or not, you know, because that's perception, that's not reception. How do you reset reception? Well, that's a, that's a question for another video, but back to the topic of people um, wearing masks, so to speak, hiding who they truly are. It's, it really, it gets in the way of that interpersonal growth, that interpersonal connectivity, that interpersonal um, love and understanding, that harmony that uh, we all seem to um, seek in our ideals, but we never seem to see in, um, in our bare bones world. And so, you know, think about wearing that mask and think about your responsibility. You know, nobody is completely free unless they have a sense of their own free will. Now, there are issues um, that prevent someone from having a sense of their own free will. You know, um, now somebody can ha not have free will. And I'm serious about that, right? Some people cannot have free will, right? If you're a slave, for instance, like, you know, let's go back in time to the antebellum era of the American South. You wouldn't, you wouldn't have had free will. It would have been robbed from you. You would have been put into a state of bondage, um, you know, put into a state of slavery. No free will. I mean, of course, you could have always tried to rebel and perhaps ended up dead, but there was really, you know, your um, potential of uh, actually utilizing what little free will you might have had was diminished to a point where, you know, for all intents and purposes, you didn't, you wouldn't have had free will. So free will, you know, the way I see it, is um, it's built off the back of a sense um, and the real thing of security and adequacy. So security is, um, you know, being safe. Adequacy is being enough. And so, um, you, you know, to be physically safe and physically enough, that would technically, uh, in the physical sense, provide you with free will. But there's a metaphysical um, form of free will, and that's called uh, the sense of free will, one's own sense of their own freedom, of their own liberty. And the m metaphysical sense of free will that requires other people. That's, you know, that requires other people to provide you with a metaphysical sense of security and adequacy. This is, you know, uh, one of the reasons why we keep calling ourselves social uh, animals. Human beings are social animals, we're social creatures. You know, it doesn't mean we can't be loners, but it just means there is, you know, we need that, we need that interpersonal validation uh, with that intrapersonal validation. And look, it's very hard to come out of any sort of a closet if you don't have that interpersonal validation. And, you know, it's very hard to gain intrapersonal validation, especially, uh, you know, if you're not physically in a state of security uh, and adequacy as that pertains to physics. It's very hard. 
it's very very difficult believe me I know but you this is where faith comes in and I'm not talking about faith as you know a religious term but I'm talking about it as a, a general term so the way people tend to use it um, you know uh, just in a general way whether they're religious or irreligious faith in a general sense is kind of acting uh, without complete assurance that what you are acting for is going to manifest and so it means taking a risk and you know it's very important that people who are wearing masks who are hiding in the closet for whatever reason that they lunge out of that closet um, and you know tr you know if there's no floor beneath them when they're out of there you know there might be a rope um, that takes them across uh, a, um, a, a hollow drop so so think about that then you know you may not have everyone on your side at first but you might see some people and you know you got to take that first step like I said um, education you're getting in the way of interpersonal education you're getting in the way of harmony by staying locked up by staying you know you know in the mask and um, not showing who you truly are and hey maybe if it's maybe if your mask is just putting on a smile that's still problematic if you don't feel a smile right if at home you're crying all the time and you're depressed and you're um, bitter and then you go to work and you just you put a smile on you know, you, you do your hair and everything, that's still getting in the way of interpersonal education. It's still getting in the way of harmony. And you and the and the thing is you're doing it partly for what you perceive will be harmony, right? You don't want to embarrass anybody else. You also don't want to embarrass yourself. But like I said, there is there is <clears throat> interpersonal uh, need for truth and um, and there's intrapersonal need for truth in the sense that you need to change the the reception of the world so I talked about how let's think of truth as the reception of the collective of direction right which way we're all going in you need to change that because it it's so far removed from our perception and so to change that well to change that you sort of need to take a leap of faith and Like I said, you know, you, we as, as human beings, we need other people, we need our group to validate us interpersonally uh, and in a metaphysical sense uh, to validate us uh, and, and, you know, to provide us with adequacy uh, in a metaphysical sense. and you know, to be there for us, to support us, to provide us with security in a metaphysical sense in order for us to feel our sense of free will. And, you know, it, it, you know, all this, you know, it takes faith. I guess that's the whole point of this video is hopefully encouraging people who are hiding parts of themselves even if they think it's, it doesn't matter you know the point of this video is you know realize that the that you make things worse if you don't address 
these these disconnections with other people, right? You're keeping a disconnection when you're wearing a mask. Even look, even if there's not going to be an immediate connection if you take off the mask, you know, the you can only really connect with your real face, with your real identity, with who you really are. Anyway, that's been uh, the video. Uh, have a good day. If you've got any philosophical type questions or just questions about, you know, you want to know my opinion on certain things, uh, write them, you know, type them below in the comment section. And uh, have a good day. Peace. Meow.